Hello everyone, it is time for a video that is always very popular after I've been on a Disney World trip and that is a haul video. Now originally I wasn't planning on even doing a haul video because going into this trip I was thinking I'm not going to go too crazy, I'm not going to buy too much but you know how it goes. I did end up buying some stuff. I actually didn't go too, too crazy, partly because I had already decided not to, but actually I didn't see loads and loads of stuff that was like a must, must have. However, I did still manage to find some stuff I wanted and I know you guys always like to see it. I added to my spirit jersey collection. So I decided I needed to show you everything. And I think we'll start off with clothing because that actually seems to be the thing I got the most of. So first of all, we have this this t-shirt and I saw this t-shirt at the Disney store at MCO airport when I arrived I didn't even go into the store but as I was walking by it was like right there it's obviously something that is aimed at travel restarting so I saw it and thought oh I might pick that up in the parks and then I didn't see it again until the very very last day that I was there I got this from Star Traders in the Magic Kingdom that's where I saw it again so I had to get it and it is this t-shirt that says feels good to be home and I think you know why I needed to buy this. This is amazing, I absolutely love it. This is just the perfect thing for me to have bought on my first trip back to Disney World. I absolutely love it and this was, how much was it, $24.99 and obviously I did get my 20% annual pass discount on all of these items but I loved this, it was just an absolute must purchase. Speaking of things that were just a must purchase and I had to get, this next t-shirt couldn't really be less my colour. If I was just picking out a t-shirt, this is probably the last colour on earth that I would pick, except maybe for like brown or something. However, it's the only colour that it came in. It's from the Disney Vault collection, which they brought out to coincide with the 50th. And I think you know why I had to buy it. It is this shirt, um, which says Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. There he is at the top. It looks more bright yellow on camera. In real life, it is a very mustardy color, which as I said, is not really my thing, but I do have an amazing pair of Mr. Toad ears, which will be absolutely perfect with this. So when I go on my next trip, this shirt with the ears is gonna have to be one of my outfits, definitely. I got this from the store in Magic Kingdom opposite the Main Street Emporium. So over on the other side, they have kind of a whole store dedicated to this like vault retro collection. But I absolutely loved that. It's got a bit of kind of white detail around the sleeves and stuff, but yeah, I mean, it's Mr. Toad. I had to have it and this was $36.99 so this one was a little more expensive I think because it was from that particular range. Before I get into the spirit jerseys I have to mention these ears. So I do not need any more pairs of mini ears as a lot of you will know. I do have such a huge collection of mini ears now that I try not to buy any new ones but I couldn't resist these. I felt like they were slightly different to what Disney normally brings out so I'll just get a bit closer. They're kind of faux leather with these little little pearl detail Mickey heads on them and then the bow is like a kind of textured fabric. I just thought they were a little bit different and I really really liked them so I did purchase this one pair of ears but I promise these are the only pair that I bought. So moving on to spirit jerseys this next one I absolutely love and technically I didn't get it on this trip. So back in 2020, um, one of my friends, Corey, picked this up for me because the NBA, as a lot of you will know, closed out their season last year in Disney World over at ESPN Wide World of Sports. And they did have some merch that went along with that. I love basketball. I love the Orlando Magic. I love that they were finishing their season over at Disney World. And this spirit jersey came out and I was like, I need that, I need it. And I was thinking to myself, who do I know who is gonna be going to the parks? Cause obviously back then in 2020, it was a lot harder for people to get there. Um, and Corey very, very kindly grabbed it for me. So on the front, it has Walt Disney World and the Mickey head in the kind of basketball shape, but it's actually textured like a basketball. I absolutely love that. Then down the sleeve, it has each of the four park icons. And then on the back, again, in that kind of basketball texture, it has make history. I absolutely love, love, love this spirit jersey. Thank you so much, Corey. I know you'll be watching for grabbing it for me. 
I absolutely am obsessed with it. So although I didn't buy it on this trip, it has been waiting for me since 2020. Love, love, love this one. This is a very, very exciting addition to my spirit jersey collection. This next one was kind of an impulse purchase. I was in Epcot one evening during the extra hours that they have if you're staying at a DVC or deluxe resort and it got a little bit chilly and that felt like the perfect excuse to pick up a spirit jersey. So I got this from the new creations store in Epcot, which is amazing by the way. And the one I decided to go for is this one, which is the Briar Rose Gold. So the logo on the front is like a glittery kind of rose gold color and same on the writing on the back. So I love this, absolutely just love it. And I do like that the writing is glittery, but the actual fabric is not because some of the ones that I've got that are glittery, they feel quite um, like rough almost. They're not as comfortable to wear, but this one is super, super comfy. I absolutely love it. So I was really, really pleased with this one. I did really want to purchase the 50th anniversary spirit jersey, but they didn't have it. They've got two versions. So there's one that actually says 50th, um, at the bottom of the spirit jersey I think on the back that one was nowhere to be seen I think that sold out a while ago and then there's another one which is the same color it's like a purple and it has the iridescent um, kind of lettering on the back and says Walt Disney World as all of them do that one I did see but everywhere just had it in the extra small and small sizes so I couldn't get that one unfortunately it was sold out everywhere in all of the sizes except those but I was really happy with the two spirit jerseys I'd already got but then on my very 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 last morning before I headed over to the airport I went to World of Disney at Disney Springs and I saw this one and this is the first time I've ever seen it now I don't know whether I just didn't happen to see it anywhere else or whether it is new um, but it suddenly seemed to appear out of nowhere and it's just the colour that I'm completely obsessed with it is a red spirit jersey so it's got the kind of classic white on the front there and the classic white lettering which I just absolutely love but I'm just obsessed with this colour it's like a slightly darker red it's not like crazy in your face bright red but I just love it and it's not like Christmas themed or anything but I do feel like it's nice in the red that you could wear it at this time of year but yeah I suddenly saw this and was like oh yes I need a red spirit jersey and red is my colour I love red so I was like I have to have that that's amazing and I haven't really seen a red one before I think maybe they have had one in the past but I've not seen a lot of red ones so I was really really pleased that I saw that right at the last minute so while we are on apparel and accessories I think we have to talk about the new lounge fly bag so this is the iridescent lounge fly that has recently come out I'm not sure how long this has been around so it's got like the sequined detail and the main body of the bag is this really awesome like iridescent color and then the straps and stuff are like a lilac-y pink this is obviously to go along with all the other iridescent stuff they've got ears and it's the whole theme for the 50th I know it's a bit extra, but I just absolutely had to have this bag. <laughs> when I saw it, I was like, that is the ultimate park bag. I need that. It's amazing. Um, it was one of the more expensive lounge fly bags. They range from kind of $70 up to 110 this one was 110 however I did have my annual pass discount and I did have a gift card which had very kindly been sent to me so it wasn't too painful by the time the discount had been taken off and I used my gift card it was very very reasonable but yeah I absolutely love 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 this it's just awesome now the next thing you will have seen in the thumbnail and you also will have seen it in the intro to the vlogs if you've watched the first vlog already and it is the little penguin over in animal kingdom so you might remember from my trip in 2019 um during the holiday season animal kingdom have these kind of puppets i can't remember exactly what they're called i will put it on the screen and they've got cast members kind of going around with these super cute wintry puppets and one of them is a penguin i'll put a little clip of him on the screen I loved the penguins especially the little baby one and a couple of times I went to Animal Kingdom and saw the puppets I feel like I kind of made friends with the baby penguin and when I went into the store there at Animal Kingdom it's the only place that I saw him they have a little puppet version of the penguin they also had the polar bear there's a polar bear as well but I was just like oh my gosh I have to get this he is so cute I love him. <laughs> That's why I included him in the vlog intro because I just love him. And now we have the little puppet version who is super, super cute. 
Oh, I know you are very, very cute. So it just, I had to buy it. I couldn't help it. I know I don't need this in my life particularly. I feel like because I just love those puppets in Animal Kingdom so much that this was actually a good purchase for me. And I just love him. I think he is awesome. Next up, I have a couple of things which I don't even know if they would qualify as purchases, but I'm going to include them anyway. One of the things that I'd wanted to have the entire trip was the iridescent sipabration drink. So I'd seen it on Disney Food Blog in the lead up to the trip, and it's basically a special 50th anniversary cup, which has lemonade in it, and then on the edge of the cup, there's this little character head that you put into the drink. There's different colours, and it turns the lemonade like a shimmery colour. And I'd really, really wanted to get it, and everywhere I went, they had sold out. They didn't have it. And I went to Whispering Canyon Cafe for breakfast and it was on the menu. I asked for it and he said, oh no, I think we're sold out. So I was like, oh yeah, okay, it's been sold out everywhere. Anyway, when I was towards the end of my breakfast, the cast member appeared with the drink. I was so happy. Um, I will insert a clip of what it looks like. It was like super shimmery and glittery. And apparently he'd gone to the manager, asked about it. He'd really gone out of his way because he could see that I really wanted this drink. And I did keep the cup. So I now have a little 50th anniversary Disney World cup, which is cute. I had to keep it obviously um, so although it wasn't a purchase as such I thought I would include it another thing that is slightly weird to include but it is a purchase at the end of the day is a Disney umbrella I just wanted to show you guys if you do purchase an umbrella while you're at Disney because you've either forgotten to bring one you just get caught in a rain shower unexpectedly or like me you lost your umbrella in an uber which no one will be surprised to hear I had to buy a new one and this is the Disney parks umbrella that you get so although it's annoying having to buy a new one oh and there's Mickey on the other side there if you do have to buy one at least it has like a cute Disney parks design on it the next thing is a magic band now I also have a lot of magic bands as well as ears so I had no intention of purchasing any new magic bands but I saw this one when I was at the Grand Floridian I think and I did see a couple of people wearing them at some point during the trip and I was like oh I think I need to get that and also in my defense the one thing I will say with this one it's a color that kind of goes with everything so if ever I have a day where I'm not sure what color magic band to wear I could probably wear this one and it is this really really glittery one now I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it on camera because I have the ring light on. Get it a bit closer. There we go. It is very, very, very sparkly. It's super glittery and I absolutely love it. So I did feel like I had to get that. I really didn't want to buy any new Magic Bands because next year they have the Magic Band Plus coming out, which is the new interactive Magic Band. And I know I'm going to want to get one or more of those, but I needed to have that sparkly one and you will still be able to use the original magic bands when the new ones come out as well next i have a couple of pins i didn't go crazy on them but i did get a couple i always do have to get one a subscriber very very kindly bought me the 2021 pin because i wasn't sure whether i was going to get out to the parks this year and maybe just worried that i might not get the pin for this year so that was very kind of them so i do already have a 2021 but i did want to get one to commemorate the 50th anniversary i'll insert a clip of this closer up so that you can see it it's it's really really pretty it's got mickey and minnie and the castle and the 50th logo on it i really liked this one i also have one from the 40th anniversary when i was there 10 years ago so i was really happy i got that and also the other thing that was kind of happening event wise while i was there was the food and wine festival so i did get this one from epcot i didn't look at all of the different pins i actually bought this one from the store as you're exiting epcot um, world traveler i think it's called and this was the only one they had but it is a limited release one so i got that to add to my pin collection as well and although it's not disney related i just wanted to mention at the end what i bought in sephora and you guys are going to be completely shocked that is all i bought in sephora one lipstick that's it i completely restrained myself from buying anything i didn't need i actually was walking around looking at all the stuff and i just didn't need anything so i thought don't buy anything then but of course then i went into world of disney and bought a new spirit jersey so it's a good thing that i didn't um, but this was just a replacement for one that i already have it's one of sephora's own brand um lipsticks it's never got the shade oh it's called oh l18 slay is the color 
and it's Sephora Root. I'll put it on the screen what it's called. I'm not quite sure how you say that. Anyway, it's like a glossy kind of lipstick and it's really, really nice over matte lipsticks. Probably not the best when you're wearing a mask, but I do love it when you don't have to because it gives a really nice glossy finish. So I bought that and I did also get this for free just because it was my birthday in October. And if you're part of the Sephora VIB, I think it's called, is their like reward scheme, you get a birthday gift every year. And I got some Laneige, Laneige, I'm not sure how you say that. Anyway, it's some skincare. So I didn't actually purchase that, but those are the only two things that I got from Sephora. That is how much I managed to rein myself in and not buy anything unnecessary in there. I was very, very proud of myself. Pat on the back, I think, for that. And there is one other item that I have to mention that should be here in the haul, but unfortunately I no longer have it. Some of you may have seen when I went to Tokyo Disney, I purchased the soap dispenser that dispenses the liquid soap in a little Mickey shape on your hand. And they brought it out for Walt Disney World this year with the 50th celebration. And I wasn't gonna buy it because I already have the Tokyo one, but I thought, oh no, I'd love to have the Disney World one as well. So I did purchase it. I then wrapped it up in the carrier bag, put it into my hand luggage and totally forgot about it. Of course, then when I went to the airport, having completely forgotten about it, I put my bag through security, my bag got pulled to one side. I was thinking, what is going on? I took my laptop out, what is happening? And he started kind of rifling through and I was like, oh no, I know what's happened. And he pulled out this soap dispenser. I was like, I'm so sorry. I totally, totally forgot that was in there. He was like, you are not the first. We have had a lot of these coming through security. Of course it is over hundred mil, which is the limit. So I had to give it up. I was absolutely gutted. There was nothing I could do about it. You're not allowed to bring it through security. He said, you can either go back and put it in your luggage. Well, I couldn't do that because my luggage had already gone. Or I think he said something about, I could go back into the airport and like empty it and just bring the dispenser. And I was like, oh my gosh, I've already stood in line in security. That just wasn't an option. It would have made me late for my flight. So I had to give it up. So I hope somebody who works for security at MCO airport is enjoying my Disney Mickey head soap dispenser because I no longer have it, I'm gutted. But if it's still there in January, I might get another one or I might just accept that it wasn't meant to be. And that is it for my haul video. So I don't think I went too crazy. I only really bought things that I really, really wanted. I haven't kind of come away with all of this stuff thinking, you know, why did I buy that? What was going on there? I really did just try to buy things that I really, really wanted. And of course my 20% annual pass holder discount always really helps out. So I hope you guys enjoyed having a look at the items I bought. Let me know in the comments, which is your favorite, which things you really like the look of, and what you would have bought, what you're planning to buy on your trip. If you've seen things that you've got your eye on, let me know. I love to know all about merch and what you think and what you like and all of that kind of stuff. I love reading your comments. And if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I have so many things coming up. I've got all of the vlogs from this trip. I have another trip with Kate in January, so there's lots to come. If you click subscribe, also hit the bell icon next to it, and then you will always be notified when I upload a new video or go live or anything like that. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.